Hello everyone, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can see the test execution history in LEO report. LEO report provides the support to display the test execution history of your test. Using LEO, we can see how many times a test got executed and it also displays the last status of the test, whether it was passed in the last execution or it failed. To see the test execution history, we have a history tab on LEO report. By default, nothing displays on the history tab. To enable the history tab or to view the information on the history, we need to perform a few steps while generating an LEO report. When the LEO report folder is generated using LEO result files, then there is a folder also generated under LEO report called as history. This folder automatically generated as part of LEO report. And the next time when you're going to generate the LEO report, then you need to make sure the original history folder should be copied from LEO report folder to LEO result folder. I know this sounds quite confusing. So now let's see the practical how we can do that. I'll quickly move to the project here. I have this LEO result folder available and inside this I have all the results JSON files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate an LEO report folder by using the LEO results file. And for that I'm going to type LEO generate followed by LEO results. This command will generate the LEO report folder. Here we can see that the LEO report folder has been generated. And now if I go inside the LEO report folder, then you can see that one history subfolder is also created as part of this LEO report. This history folder is not going to be used anywhere right now because this history subfolder should be part of the LEO results while generating the result. Because this history subfolder should be part of the LEO result while generating the report. Let's say if I'm going to open the LEO report, then this will show the current execution information only. History tab won't be having any information because the LEO results did not have any history subfolder available. You can see this is the current report generated. And if I go to the test case, and then let me move to the history tab, then you can see that it says no history information available. And similarly, for all the tests we have, no history information available right now. Now let's see how we can enable the history option here. So let me first go to the LAO report folder. And from here, I'll copy this history subfolder. And then let's go to the LAO results folder. And I'll paste it over here. Now, let's assume that this LAO result folder is freshly generated after your fresh execution. And now you have placed the history subfolder of the previous execution report. And now I'm going to generate the report with the latest information. This time we have copied the history folder into the LAO result directory. So this will show the history information on the LAO reports as well. You can see that this time we have also got the trend graph. This is coming because we have provided the history information. And now if I go to my test case, let's say login dot feature invalid password. And if we choose history, then we can see that last time also this test got failed. This is because I have copied the same result again. I'm generating the result out of the same execution result folder. So that's why my test execution history status is same. 
you can see this time there is one history available and the test case was failed last time as well and this test was passed last time and again this test was failed last time as well so this is how history works now let's say if i'll go back to the folder again this time when we generate the lu report folder then there was no history folder available initially but now we have one history subfolder already available under lu results so let's say if i'm again going to generate the lu report folder out of lu result files then the new lu report history folder will contain the previous two execution history because this time lu results folder has a history subdirectory as well so the same will be added to the history information now let me copy this history subfolder again and then let me replace it with the history folder here now let's generate the lu report again then you will see that this time in the lu report will have the previous two execution details in the history tab so this way you can copy the history folder of previous execution into the latest lo result folder by generating the reports and then you will keep getting the history information of your past executions in your report now if i'll again go to the test invalid password and then in the history tab so we can see now we have the history of previous two executions in all the execution this test is failing because i'm creating the test result from the same lr result json files but in actual case you will be having a new lr results folder generated after the latest execution which may contain different status of the test so this is how you can use the history option in your lr report to see the previous execution status i hope you like this video please put your comments in the comment box also please do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you